there's one. Nice! Yeah. Woo! This is Avid Outdoors. Warning. You are about to see two men hunting a rabbit, killing a rabbit, cleaning a rabbit, and eating a rabbit. There will be blood. There will be entrails. If any of this offends you, there is a different video linked in the description for your viewing pleasure. Please click on that one and have a good day. But if you can handle a little food being processed the natural way, enjoy. Welcome back, Avid Outdoorsman. We are at Tyler Chisholm's yep. house and we're gonna do a little bunny hunting today. We would really like to get one so we can do a catch clean cook for y'all. So stick around. It's gonna be good. Is there any fish in that pond? I guess bass and stuff. Oh yeah? Yeah. Can you eat them? It's really bunny-like in here. There's one! Oh, you see it? it? Did I? Oh, sure. I got it. Nice! Yeah. Woo! Woohoo! We did it! We got him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. We're gonna eat that thing. <laughs> and we're like 15 minutes into hunting. Yep. So. Oh man, that's <laughs> disgusting. Big old tick on there. <laughs> we put him out of its misery. Before we got the rabbit out, we're gonna start the fire because it'll take a little bit longer for the fire to get going than what it'll take me to clean the rabbit. It doesn't take too much effort to skin out a rabbit. So what we have here is just some dried grasses, some smaller twigs for kindling, and a little bit larger diameter stick. And then what we have here is some nice, thick, dry wood. We're gonna start the fire up. What are you doing over there? I'm getting the stick, two forked sticks to prop the roaster on. So we roast, spit roast this rabbit over some ash wood. One rabbit stew coming up. Whenever I go, especially when I travel to places that I don't know where I am, like a um, good example here in Sheboygan, Sheboygan County Marsh. Uh, sometimes it's easy to get lost in the marsh or if I go out west or I go Mississippi River I always carry a little package of my old dryer lint a couple of small pieces of cardboard and a nice lighter um, That way you're pretty much guaranteed Something dry to start something that might be slightly damp um, This last fall I got stuck out on the Mississippi River and had to use it. So um, we definitely want to always have that available but I'm just gonna kind of start this off I'm probably gonna lay down a couple of the small twigs to keep the lint off of the ground light the lint and lint burns real nice and slow so kind of the beauty of lint I'll just get that kind of propped up and once it starts Well, you want to have all your wood ready. Got my rabbit here, sitting right along the Mullet River here, uh, right close to Plymouth, Wisconsin in Sheboygan County. And I generally don't use a knife when I clean rabbits. I just start pulling from the back legs. Just get all the hair off around the back legs. There's the first one. There's the second one. Then once I got a good piece of skin ready, I can just start pulling down the hide of the rabbit. Never videoed this before. <laughs> so just grasp the 
the skin. And on a rabbit, their skin comes off almost like a t-shirt, you know, like you're just peeling a t-shirt off. So, got it really good and started there. And then right along the stomach, I just wanna make sure I don't really uh, get the skin above the stomach because if you do that, you're gonna pull all the guts out right away and I really don't wanna deal with the guts yet. I just wanna get the skin off. So then just pull. Again, just like taking a t-shirt off, right? And you get to around the, the shoulders and you do have to kind of take your thumb and forefinger and just separate that skin from the hair there. And then you get that paw out. Do the same thing on the other side with the other shoulder. Kind of a discombobulated mess at the moment, but you pull that out and now all you got is right there. The, the whole rabbit is skin, the tail is still on there. The four feet still have hair on them, but we'll clean that off in just a bit. You just take the head and twist it all the way off. So, rabbit is basically uh, skinless, got most of the hair off. We're right here on the river, we can wash it off. Just discard the skin. Snap the legs. That way they'll be easier to cut. And that one snapped completely off already. So there will be a little bit of a tendon in there. All I have to do is cut through the tendon. That way you don't dull your knife even when you're, when you're cutting the rest of it. Again, that bone snapped, so I'll have to cut right there. Um, but in general, for the most part, you, you barely even need a knife at all. Most people still probably would just uh, kind of twist these legs off. We do have a knife, so I'm going to use it at this point. Just gonna take the knife, slide it under. There goes that paw. Slide it under. There goes that paw. Same thing up here. Fire's almost ready up there. We can hear it cracking. And the last paw there. And that's all I'm gonna use the knife for. I can just, I guess I can kind of start this here. Even though I don't really need to, I can just kind of pull that as well. But I don't want to get too deep because I don't want to get into the guts. So, take the tail, twist that sucker off, and then reach in. Just kind of take everything all out of the inside. Get all the entrails out. Obviously not for the faint of heart, but you're not gonna last long in the woods if you uh, can't stomach a little bit of this sort of stuff, you know? Maybe save the heart. We'll put that on the spit too. <laughs> We got the skewer. Biggest step in this is make sure it's a green stick, not something dry, because otherwise your rabbit will burn off. I mean, we're professionals at this. This is our first time. And you grab this sucker. Through one side. And then into the anus cavity or rectum as we call it. There we go. We have our rabbit de la stick. Be 
right, looks like the heart is done anyway. I'll give that a shot. It tastes a lot better than I thought it would, no doubt. It actually tastes pretty good. Would you eat it again? I would eat it again, yeah. It's not my favorite. Well, yeah, I'd definitely eat that again. It's just kind of different, you know? It's, uh, it's definitely rabbit. You can taste that it's rabbit. Um, rabbit changes so much. You know, uh, you get a rabbit that lives down in a swamp, it's gonna taste cedary and muddy. Um, you get one that lives up high in the grasses and stuff, it tastes fantastic. So every rabbit is different. That particular rabbit, well, the heart of it anyway, you can tell that it's rabbit, but there's definitely some really good quality, good gamey quality about it. Um, you can definitely taste the gaminess, so. All right, I think it's done, huh? I think so too. Cut into this thing, we've cut into it a couple times in the back. Ham's the only thing we're missing is some sweet baby rays or something. Cut the back strap off first. Looks white, huh? Looks yeah. Really nice and good. Wow. It, it looks fantastic. It looks just like pork. I mean, I've eaten rabbit before, but never spit roasted. So. And there's no seasoning on this. This is basically just. This is raw. Right off the bone. Yep. Rabbit. Can I pull it off, you think? At this point? It's going to be hot there, Dave. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Definitely looks good. Down the hatch. It's definitely rabbit. Yeah. It's right off the get go. But it tastes like, like mostly like pork. So I would say if you had some salt, maybe some pepper, I would honestly probably eat, eat it this way again. Like some seasoning, good to go. Not bad. Good, great breakfast this morning. I'm going in for more, so. It's tiny mm -hmm. What do you think, Dave? Grab a little bit of that. Look at that, I mean, you can tell, real fibrous, you know? Looks, it, it looks fantastic. No doubt about that. Yeah, you get the pork, the porky kind of uh, quality. That's, honestly, it's kind of weird, but like, that could be the best rabbit I've ever had. I'm not a huge fan of rabbit in general. Like, I wouldn't need to eat this every day of my life, but this is pretty good. Pretty good, I'd have to say. And that was, that was even better. Right off the ham was better than on the back strap. I'd do it again for sure. Good stuff. So good. Tastes like chicken. Well, there you got it. Rabbit over an open flame. Spit roasted. We're gonna finish up the rest of this yeah. puppy, aren't we? We're gonna get put the fire out, and we're gonna clean ourselves up and clean up the mess, and. And that was actually really fun. It was fun. It was a good day. Great morning. Absolutely. This is Avid Outdoors. Stay tuned for more recipes.